Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pixel Piracy with Frozen Foxy. Before we get started here, I would like to go ahead and start by thanking uh, Manga Minx, or otherwise known as the RPG Minx, because she decided to randomly give this to me. I'm not sure why, but thanks! Thanks a lot! Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and get a new game started here. I may uh, have this takeover for Saturday stuff for a while instead of Cataclysm, and uh, this will just be a, a new random roguelike thing. So we'll do a new game here. Um, I have played this a little bit, however, considering this game is updating so quickly, um, it's kind of hard to keep up with uh, all the changes. Princess mode, as far as I know, is basically you get saves at every island or ship battle that you defeat. Um, and if you die for some random reason, like getting knocked off a boat or something, you can come right on back. However, we're gonna go with hardcore mode because it wouldn't be like a roguelike if we didn't. So if we die, we die. Our crew shall be, um... The Foxies, I guess. Sure, why not? Sounds good to me, and we'll call it, uh, Foxtopia. Cool. Alright, that's a random stupid start, but I don't care. Let's start the game. Alright, so as you are uh, starting this game, you get to choose uh, from these three different things. We've got monsters here. It's a sickening place filled with pirates, monsters, and hardships, as what we think about it. It's fascinating, an intriguing assortment of inhabitants that roam the land. It's mysterious. Unpleasant, a province filled with dire corners and unrelenting troubles. Drama. So, um, as far as I know, the way this works is uh, this is the easiest, this is uh, the medium, and this is the hardest here. We'll go with medium. Because we want to give ourselves a little bit of difficulty, right? What is the most recent event that happened in the land? A great war tore the populace apart. More ship encounters. A plague that killed many innocent. Plague. A very rare comet flyby brought along bad omens. Long, dangerous nights. So, um, for this one, I'm not sure if this actually happens to where you see long dangerous nights or not but as far as I know this is the same thing where this is the easiest this is the uh, slightly more hard medium mode and uh, this is the hardest here because I don't know about these nights thing I'm just gonna go with plague and uh, we'll do it from there how do we remember our father he was a brave captain his nickname was Karaj and we get a falcon blade if we do that one. He was a lazy alcoholic, known as Hork, the flatulent. We get uh, an extra starting pirate. Well, that's nice and all, I don't think so. Uh, he was a cowardly sailor that went by the name Peon Pants. We get uh, plus 15 talent points. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing the talent points. I really like having a, uh, a falcon blade, so we're going to have a brave captain father. All right, so we've got Garland Peas here. I don't know if I really like Garland. He looks old and probably rickety. Shiver me timbers. You look like you have feet on your head, Geraldo. Well, not fine. Perfect! Two blue things on... Okay, he's kind of balding. He may have a comb over. her. All right, we're uh, Hosea Lodish. Sounds perfect. All right, let's begin the game. At this point, it will uh, generate the world map, so we'll be back when that's done. All right, world generation is complete. There are 394 possible sea encounters. And here we are, this tiny little guy. Someone's drinking somewhere. Yes, a pirate's life. All right, so um, we're gonna start out by setting up our ship here. We actually get to build our ship, which um, will not look like much. It will just be basically a glorified raft. 
There's <laughs> not much to say about that one. Yeah, that looks good. I can go with it. Um, I don't know what to do with the rest of this stuff. I, I guess I could just kind of throw that on there. I could sell it or something. We start out with a little bit of food. Um, this is watermelon that can be eaten unprepared. It's two servings per melon, so basically people can pick it up twice and eat it. Um, each of our crew members is going to have uh, their own abilities here. So basically we've got pretty even looking stats here. Um, as we get talent points, or TP, as it shows up here, we'll be able to uh, move each of these stats up, and they will have uh, various effects on uh, how things work. So if we have uh, a certain amount of intelligence, we're going to get extra uh, talent points when we level up. If we have a certain amount of uh, strength points, we're going to get extra damage. Um, vitality, I imagine, affects your hit points, but I can't be quite so sure about that. Um, dexterity is going to affect your uh, range damage, uh, agility is going to affect your movement speed, and luck is going to be our critical capability. Um, our falcon blade here is a pretty nice little sword. It's uh, level one at the moment, so it could be better, but um, the cool thing about this guy is it has a chance to refresh the attack speed. Um, what this means is basically you get a double attack every once in a while. It's a 5% chance, so not the best chance in the world, but it's a good little sword to start out with, and I really like it. Our salary as a pirate right now is uh, 94 gold, so that'll be fantastic. Ah, gold. Too much of it going to other things that doesn't really need to go to. Anyway, let's read about Hosea. He is adventurous. This pirate is happiest when opening treasure or swashbuckling. He is muscular. The man kicks like a mule and can wrestle a horse to the ground. Probably means he's got some kickback. He was a surveyor. He would set about taking a record of the land, the topography, and sell the information. Okay, that pause was kind of weird. Anyways, and sell the information to the highest bidder as a freelance cartographer until it was outlawed. Why? Why would that be outlawed? I, I guess maybe you have to uh, apply under some royal bullshit uh, just so that you can be a cartographer. I'm sure that's how that works. Um, anyway, at, as we first start out here, we've got uh, this nice little basic attack thing, and as we attack things, um, it will slowly upgrade just as we will uh, upgrade our experience, uh, getting closer to more levels. Um, but this will give us some extra damage with uh, each level that we get, which is nice. Um, I'm pretty sure Parrots is not implemented currently, and this game will probably turn into various different things as we continue on. Um, perhaps the next time I come back to this, my save won't even work because it will be different. I don't know. Um, yeah, that, that pretty much covers it there. Um, we will be able to hire a different amount of people based on um, what our level is. Um, currently we're level 2, so we can hire one more person, which is it's good, because uh, having at least two people is usually a good idea. I don't know that we'll ever make it up to level 70, because if we die by a random accident, uh, that's just gonna suck. Anyway, um, let's head on over this way. See what's going on. We got a nice little tavern over here. You can hire some people in here. If you stick around this tavern, uh, your guy will eventually get some uh, alcohol, possibly food, and uh, refill his morale and uh, hunger there. I don't really care about that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, check what this is. So this is a weapon store here. We can buy clubs, fishing rods, stiletto daggers, cutlasses, and torches. Um, none of these are all that important for me at this point in time. That fishing rod will definitely come in handy at some point, but uh, not quite right now. Let's see here, we can buy some more food. Um, I think I probably will get a couple more of the uh, watermelons. That seems like a good idea. We could get rum, which will uh, allow us to fill our morale, but at the moment we don't need that too much. What we do need, however, is cleaning. 
Cleaning is very important because uh, they don't call them the poop decks for nothing. However, um, we are not going to be able to really use this cleaning um, up front just because we won't have uh, the talent points to actually apply it to our crew member here. So if we check this out, it actually needs five talent points before we can apply it to anyone. However, it's like a uh, manual that we just get to carry around. Final person right here, I believe, is just um, some various items for our ship, but uh, we really don't need any extra items for our ship. We do, however, see some oysters over here, so let's go bash them. If you get lucky, oysters will drop you uh, some pearls once in a while. Uh, apparently this guy's going to buy me a drink if I come back to the, uh, the tavern. Good guy Vance over there. Ooh, a pearl. Fantastic. I can always use a few pearls in there. And that was my double hit plus a critical, apparently. Not bad. Uh, this oyster doesn't seem to be taking any damage. Oh, there must be two oysters here. Okay. Is this guy gonna buy me a drink, too? Is, is that what's going on? Do, do you want to buy me a drink, buddy? He thinks I'm a landlubber. Okay, you're an asshole. Let's let's make sure we don't hire Nicholas Wiener. He's a wiener. And that's for a reason. Shiver me timber. Yes, it is Hosea Lodish or whatever the hell we're called. Um, actually, can I sell that pearl to this guy? Probably not. No, but I can sell wood deck walls. And you know what? I probably will do that. Just to have a little bit extra money. Can you talk with me? Um, sure. But what do you want? This will be great. Um, apparently Terrell would really like to come with me. I don't know why. Alright, well, we got a couple of pearls, so let's sell those off. Plenty of, uh, of gold to start us out. That's a good thing. So I'm definitely going to need the money. Come on. Let's keep going, Captain. Alright, let's see here. Um, before in the past, there used to be a number of different things that you could um, purchase uh, as hires here, which was um, basically traits that they would start out with. Um, now it's not so much traits that you get uh, as you kind of have to train them yourself to the way that you want. We're not hiring uh, Wiener here because he's an asshole. We might hire uh, Vance. He was a spooner. I'm not sure what kind of spooner. Uh, well, at least he'll keep someone warm at night, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see here. Apparently Asa was a homewrecker. Yeah, I don't think so. Milliner, um... I don't know if I want Basel. Uh... I really don't want Wiener, though. All right, well, you know what? We're going to go with uh, with Terrell here because he seemed very excited to get on board our ship, and even though he's a little bit expensive, that might mean that he is uh, a quite capable seaman. At least that's the hope. Come on, my little friend. Let's actually check out uh, this guy here. Nope, not you. Ooh, his salary is a little bit steep there, but you know, whatever. We'll deal with it. He comes with a cutlass, so that's uh, that's not a bad weapon to start out with. He's adventurous and pretty much the same as our guy. He is of an athletic build, be it raising the mast or handling the grapple. The man is as strong as an ox. Good to know. He was an uh, almsman. This man was among the poor. He would beg on the streets until he earned enough money to buy a weapon and pass into the tavern that we found him in. So basically he begged, got a weapon, decided to sit in the tavern until someone hired him, and asked for a really fucking high salary. Okay, whatever. We'll go with it. <laughs> At least he's got um, a good bit of strength, I guess? Um... He gets an extra uh, talent point every level because of his high intelligence. 
He's, uh, he's definitely intelligent. He, he figured out how to, uh, to bamboozle people, <laughs> I guess. All right. All right, my intelligent asshole. Let's go. So we're going to, uh, get onto our ship through a grappling hook. Yes. Our ship starts out with, uh, half hull here. As we poo in the air. It's amazing. I'm impressed by uh, his poo skills. Anyways, um, all ships will start out with half hull um, until we get a ship repairman. Um, that really doesn't matter early on because there's not going to be any direct damage to your ship until later. So um, hopefully we'll be fine. So this here is the uh, the world map. And it looks like stars um, out in the universe over here, but this is actually just a, uh, a map with random speckles on it that we uh, cannot currently see. Um, so we're not actually traveling into space, sadly. No, our ship doesn't fly like that. Anyway, um, we have no map reading capability, so we have no information whatsoever on anything that we can go to right now. That is a really weird way of sailing around. Okay. L let's sail to this one. That's that's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not going to be walking the plane. We're, we're sailing. Come on, Terrell. Don't be an asshole. Anyway, we get to uh, level up as we're sailing along, and it, uh, it will take different amounts of time, depending on how far away an island is, and we'll actually get uh, different amounts of, uh, of points. Okay, so over here we've got some crabs, and we've got uh, three dogs. Dogs probably won't be that dangerous considering that their health is pretty low, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely go after these guys. Crabs won't attack you um, until you actually attack them, so that's, that's a pretty good thing. Let's get over here and attack some dogs. Hopefully they won't uh, ram us off the island. That would really suck. Yeah! Now well, that's what I call a dead dog. And we got a wolf claw out of it. Let's see what's in this treasure chest here. We have found a chef's knife. We found some grindstones, eye patches, a whole bunch of different things. So, what you can do with uh, all this stuff that I picked up is use it as passive equipment. So, um, right here, this cleaning is considered passive equipment that we would uh, be able to use at some point. Um, we don't have a cook, so this chef's knife is pretty damn useless. But we do have nice weapons that we can use this grindstone on. I am definitely going to uh, upgrade this uh, falcon blade until I get it completely upgraded to make sure that uh, it is quite powerful. In the meantime, since we do not have someone to swab the poop deck yet, we have diapers! No more poo! At least from this guy. Um, we also have uh, this nice little eye patch, which will um, lose 40% less morale. Um, and that is good for this guy, considering that his salary is so high and I don't want to pay it that often. Um, let's see here, he has four talent points currently. Uh, he'll probably be our poop swabbing person. Seems like a good idea. Usually I make the captain the poop swabber, but uh, this time around the captain definitely does not have uh, capability to poop swab at the moment. Let's go ahead and grab some crab meat if we can. Knock a whole bunch of crabs into the water. The good thing about knocking crabs into the water is if they're already dead, um, they will already be dropping their crab meat. Hey, we got a level out of that. Cool. However, um, if they get uh, knocked into the the water before they actually die, um, that's kind of a problem. And the reason for that being a problem is the crabs or whatever the hell that I'm knocking into the water will drown underwater. I don't know how crabs drown, but you know, whatever. Um, and and that will mean that we don't get any of that lovely, lovely crab meat. There's also a banana tree here, so let's pick some bananas off of that. 
I've got four bananas. Lovely.